Okay, well, let's just have a look at uh, a little bit more from our favourite uh, fake moon Muppets. This again is from uh, Apollo Detectives or Apollo Defectives 9, the Ben Emlyn Jones channel, and they're complaining about the shadows on the moon. Good job of discussing this in the American Moon movie. Uh, hang on, let's just get a bit more level there. Can I get more level? Yeah. You know how the, uh, you know, the debunkers try to say that this is a perspective. <laughs> but perspective only applies when you're standing in line with the shadow, not as... <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. A perspective is exactly that. It's a, persp it's, a, it's a perspective of where you are at any given point. The 90 degree angle. You know? Like standing on, on a train tracks. If you're standing yeah. on the tracks, the, tra the tracks converge into the distance. But if you're standing 90 degree angle from the track, the tracks are parallel. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying they try to use this argument. Like, oh, this is the... It's perspective. No, sorry, it's not perspective. You're standing at a 90 degree angle. And then also they'll try to, oh, there's a big uh, downhill curvature there, curving the shadow. No, again, this is just flat land they're standing on. <laughs> well, I've said before, uh, <clears throat> he doesn't know that that's flat. I mean, this, um, this area here, this area here, could very easily be a bit of a rise, couldn't it? I don't think there's any part of the moon that's actually flat. These differences in shadow depth direction can't be explained entirely by perspective. They can only be explained by the presence of a light source. <laughs> there's Ben Emily Jones, the expert, of course. Um, they can only be explained by a light source much closer than the sun. I mean, Ben Emily Jones has absolutely no idea how shadows would be cast on this scene. No idea at all. They don't demonstrate that they, they, they don't demonstrate their point by doing any experiments and filming it. What they do is, I mean, they could do that by using the sun, and I'll, I'll, I do exactly that just a little bit further on in this video. I mean, I spend a lot of time in the bush. I see this sort of thing all the time. All they have to do is to go out and actually, <laughs> actually look at some shadows cast by the sun. And if they do that, they'll see they're talking out of their backsides. It's absolute nonsense. Close by, not the sun. So you get, you get like some massive spot like you like you get at sports stadiums. <laughs> big, a big outdoor studio, you get like a big light like you, you get for football grounds or baseball grounds and things like that. So, so <clears throat> I mean, these people are not interested in the truth. If they were interested in the truth, they could go out and see shadows like this any day of the week. You know, shadow going that way, shadow going that way, shadow going that way. I see it every single day. I can make as many shadow videos as, as they want. And I, I, I took a little bit of video only yesterday because I was standing in a position and there was a, a decent sized bush, bushy tree, probably about the same size as the lamb, similar sort of distance, and some other objects closer to me, okay? So I'd be standing effectively where the astronaut was standing when he took this shot. And I'll include that clip after this so you can clearly see these people have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. So you can see the shadow on the bush over there. It's going that way. That way. Okay? You can see that quite clearly. about where the lunar module was, wasn't it? So if I can pan down here, the shadow on the little sign there is coming towards me, isn't it? See that? The shadow on the sign there is coming towards me. Shadow on the trees going across there. The shadow on that bush, which is about where the lem was, and the lunar thing, is going that way shadow there coming towards me so I think that's a pretty good demonstration that um, you know these these Apollo detective clowns have got absolutely no idea 
what they're looking at. And you can clearly see that shadow there, can't you? Shadow there. Shadow there. Shadow there. Shadow there. They have absolutely no idea what they are talking about. So there you go, that's just a very short uh, a short video. I'll, pro I'll probably include it with uh, in another video that's a little bit longer actually, but just another short video on shadows. <laughs> There's no way you can get a shadow going that way from the lunar module. And then shadow from a rock. No, I can't see it. The screen's gone dark. Shadow from a rock going that way. Cast from sunlight. Sunlight just doesn't work like that. It just doesn't cast shadows like that. And as you can see, they are morons. Okay, so here we have the two side by side. So there we have there we have the lunar module casting a shadow that way. The rocks casting a shadow this way. Here we have a bush. Similar sort of distance away to the lunar module, casting a shadow that way. And a much, much more acute angle of shadow being cast here. So you've got the shadow there, and you've got the shadow there. So you see, the sun can very easily cast shadows like this. They will, they will never do a demonstration to prove their point. This is just a bunch of laymen looking at an image and giving you their opinion. And their opinion is completely and utterly worthless because they're, they're wrong. They're talking out of their backsides. There's only the sun used to illuminate this scene. As you saw in the video, the angle from the, the shadow from the bush is completely different to the angle of the shadow from these poles here. And there's another little sign down there and the, and the shadow again is coming this way. And it's not even parallel with this, as you can see in the video I shot. I see this every day of the week out in the bush. And if those people cared to go out and look at some shadows being cast by sunlight, they wouldn't make the stupid, bloody comments they make when they look at these lunar pictures. Because they are completely and utterly wrong. And if you were thinking of running out and buying uh, Marcus Allen's new book with Trevor Weaver, I'd, I'd seriously recommend you save your money. Because I can, tell, I, I can tell you without reading it, from cover to cover, it will be a complete and utter waste of time. It will be arse paper. So I, I sincerely hope the pages aren't too shiny. So if you do get a copy, you'll at least have one use for it. Okay. All right. Well, I think that will do for this, uh, for this short one on shadows. <laughs> yeah, you can see the sun's a little bit lower down to the horizon on this one because that's a longer shadow. And although this is quite tall, it's probably going to be considerably taller than the bush, but you can see it better in the video. The shadow from the bush is that way. And these shadows are this way. Shadows cast from the sun. Alright, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll catch you again. <laughs>